Canon Digital Rebel XSI has eight different white balance modes, and you can choose the one you want to use by pressing the white balance button and using the arrow buttons to cycle through the choices. However, custom is the setting that I recommend that you use most often, because it offers the only way to set the camera's white balance accurately. Why? Because it's the only one that actually measures the color temperature of the current lighting situation and adjusts the camera to match it. If you use the AWB setting, the camera is just making an educated guess, and it will probably be wrong more often than it's right. If you use tungsten, fluorescent, daylight, cloudy, or shade, you're just putting the white balance value in the right ballpark. You aren't actually setting the camera for the exact lighting conditions as they truly are at that time and location. For example, does a bright sunny day have the same look at noon as it does at 6 in the evening? No. That's why the one-size-fits-all automated settings aren't very accurate. Are they close enough anyway? Well, sometimes they're good enough for snapshots, but I usually take a few seconds to set my white balance manually before I start shooting. In fact, it's not uncommon for a professional photographer to set a custom white balance several times a day, whenever the light changes. Here's how to do it. First, make sure the camera is set on custom white balance. Next, get a neutral white object and place it under the same lighting that will be used for the subject of your photograph. Now frame up the white card so that it fills the viewfinder and take a picture of it. In the next step, we'll use that photo as a reference to calibrate subsequent photos. Next, press the menu button. Go to Shooting Menus, page 2, and select the Custom White Balance menu. The picture that comes up first should be the one you just took, but if not, navigate until you find it. Press the Set button, highlight OK, and press the Set button again. Now that image's white reference data is analyzed by the camera to calibrate the white balance setting, and then you're ready to shoot with an accurate white balance that matches the lighting conditions exactly. See how easy it is to set a custom white balance? Now you've got a perfect white balance and you won't have to waste time trying to fix the color of your pictures later on the computer. For more great digital photography tips, be sure to check out www.larkbooks.com digital. Thank you for watching and have fun shooting.